maximizing choice and control. Here, which one? Uh, Carrot or a butter? Each day, we make many choices. What to eat and which clothes to wear and what to do with our time. We choose when we do things, how to do them, who with and for how long. By making choices, we express our preferences and exercise control of our lives. The people you support also have preferences and can make choices. They can make choices about the activities or interactions they want to participate in, when to do them, how to do them, and for how long. You need to provide them with opportunities to express their preferences and make choices. This essential of active support is maximising choice and control. What about this one? Would that be all right? For a person to make a choice, they need to understand the options. Communication is important. You have to ask questions and present options in ways the person understands. You can present options verbally, using signs or gestures, using objects or pictures, using videos to show what something looks like. Or you can use a combination of these, such as talking while using objects. You have to consider how many options to present to a person. Should you provide two options? Or can you offer more without overwhelming them? You have to know how the person communicates their preferences, whether it be verbally, using sign, pointing, gestures, facial expression, or communication aids. You may need to give the person time to think about the options presented. Once they make a choice, you can check to ensure you have understood correctly. Maximising choice and control means recognising that each person you support has preferences. It's about providing them with opportunities to choose what happens in their life. To support a person to make choices, you must pay attention to communication. Maximising choice and control means recognising that each person you support has preferences.